All right, here's a quick review of the Drone Zone Quad Shock, aka Pet Boys Quad, also known as the Toy Labs G Shock Quad. This is what I did basically, folks. I cut those big flimsy circular things that were around the blades off. Uh, as you can see, it kind of looks cool, I think. It looks like a little bug. Uh, looks cool with a little light in the front. Looks like two eyes, like a little bug. Uh, it just flies better like this. Uh, much more responsive. Uh, you know, it was good for a beginner with those things on there, but, you know. Anyway, here's a quick flight review for everybody. Everybody's probably curious. Uh, here's the tarantula controller bound up to it. Uh, this actually has all your flight modes, as you can see. I put it in 100% so you can see that it does not have the dreaded auto flip feature that it does with the stock controller. Uh, here we go. Alright, there we go. Try to keep it close for y'all. This camera, I've noticed, doesn't do real well uh, far away. Try to put it in a little bit slower mode, maybe for this small area. Uh, once you guys be able to see it, uh, as you can see, it, it's very quiet. There's a little breeze blowing around, not bad, just around the corner of the building here. Uh, as you can see, it's very quiet and smooth, I, and I'm thinking that is why it takes such good video. Because this has hardly no jello in it, folks. And the camera is hard mounted. It, uh, has no kind of jello mount or vibration, you know, dampeners. No little balls on there. Uh, balls. Uh, it, uh, just hard mounted straight to the, to the bottom of the quad. And it has very little jello which I will post a little bit of flight video on this one. Uh, it uh, is very, very smooth flying quad. I really like it. I mean, the video, I must say, is better than a lot of these other quads that, you know, that I had much higher hopes for. I mean, this came from Pet Boys. I didn't have that high hopes for it and it just it actually shocked me <laughs> for a shock quad I guess that's why they call it the shock quad uh it flies fantastic it's just a all around great flying machine I would highly recommend this one as you can see the yaw is slow in that particular mode this is uh this is on um, beginner mode See if we can crank it up here a little bit. All right, this is this is intermediate. All right, let's put it on high rates. As you can see. It has quite a lot of nice funnels. Uh, it's a lot of pitch, a lot of roll. Uh, has a real good yaw, yaw in that. It, you know, it reminds me a lot of like a little mini version of the tarantula in this mode. And it's funny because it's it is the tarantula controller that I'm using. So I think a lot of it has to do with the controller. Uh, really flies fantastic though, folks. Uh, what else could I say about it? The range with this controller uh, is quite a bit extended, but I would say with the stock controller, I was still getting 70 yard, uh, meters, where this one... Uh, this one probably get 100, 150, maybe more. 
Not sure, folks. I will try to do a range test out at the out at the AMA field that I fly at. It'd be kind of hard to do around here with this pond. <laughs> do not want to end up in the pond. Uh, I don't know if you guys can still see it, but it flies really, really good. I mean, I would be scared to fly some of my other quads in this same tight area where this one just is so easy to control. I mean, it's amazing. Honestly, the only other quad that I fly in this little tight area a lot of times is my Blade uh, 200QX, just because of it has the, the safe technology, I believe it's called. Uh, you know, makes it really easy to fly. This, unbelievable though, as it may sound, is probably just as easy to fly. Very good flying quad. The flight control board on this one must really be in, be on track. Uh, what else can I say about it? Um, the video I already talked about. The range is even better with this controller. Uh, <clears throat> I like this uh, rate, this high rate on this quad. It's ver very usable. Almost gave myself a haircut there, folks. Uh, <laughs> trying to keep it close for you. This camera, I noticed, doesn't do too good far away, especially with these smaller size quads. Uh, yeah, I would highly recommend this one. And there is parts available at a place I believe it's called Do Do Good. Dot com. Uh, Very smooth, very quiet, very nice flying quadcopter here, folks. Uh, flips, yeah. Does flips fantastic, actually. We'll also do the constant flips like the tarantula if you just hold the button if you just hold the stick down it'll keep doing them like the tarantula does uh see if i can do a little sample of that uh get up high enough here there you go it'll keep doing them if you're if you're up uh high enough <laughs> kind of a little tight here but yeah, it does the constant flipping like the tarantula, with the tarantula controller, that is. Well, it's getting a little dark here, folks. I think I'm going to call it a flight. Just try to give you guys a quick idea of, of how this thing flies and what it looks like with my little modification. That is the Drone Zone... Quad Shock, otherwise known as the Toy Labs G Shock Quad. Signing out. Peace.